AI is just about everywhere. And now you can even use it to create your print on demand designs. If you watched my last video, you probably saw that you can also use AI to write a lot of copy for your Etsy store, including your policies, your about me, your shop title, your customer service responses, and so much more. But now with ChatGPT, Midjourney, and pretty much every other design program introducing AI, there are tons of more ways that we can leverage it on top of just using it for copy. And I will prerequisite saying I am not an AI expert in the slightest. I've been watching so many YouTube video titles popping up on my recommended saying you can use AI for all of your t-shirt designs. You can use it for pretty much any print on demand product. And I tried using Mid Journey. I tried using a few other AI like image generators and I was just never really able to get any output that would actually be usable on any of my print on demand products until I found this one. Some of the problems I personally had when trying to generate AI art is on Mid Journey, even using Canvas text to image and a few other text to image AI generators is I was getting images that were half cut off, that were super pixelated. I had ones that did not have a transparent background. So that pretty much made it impossible for me to put on a print on demand product and look good unless you are a super great Photoshop or Illustrator user who can then go and edit the AI art, which I think just adds more time and kind of ruins the point. And I have a feeling I'm gonna get a few AI specialists under this video. I don't know why I did air quotes, but a few AI specialists are gonna tell me that I was just not doing the prompts right, that I was missing something important so that I was not getting the right output. But I think that's the problem. I don't wanna be an AI specialist, so I actually found this tool that is spitting out images closer to what I need for my print on demand services without me needing to study how to do AI prompts first. So what I'm talking about is using Kittle AI. It actually is just launching. They did give me early access to play with the AI so that I could show you guys. And the only reason I'm bringing it up and actually talking about it is because I actually did find it really helpful for the reasons I talked about earlier. There has been so much new AI introduced into our world, but this is one that has actually helped some of my needs for my designing. So I'm gonna open Kittle here. I'm gonna make sure my DPI is set to 300 so we're good to print. And that should make our file 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, which is great for printing. So let's save that. So and now we have our file here. And once you sign up for Kittle, you can get their AI by going to the link in my bio. You are going to see this little star sparkle at the bottom of your toolbox. And we can just go ahead and click on that. So once we're in here, we're going to see this looks kind of like a regular AI generator. If you've used them before, maybe you've used the Canva one, which is a little bit different, but you're gonna describe what are you looking for? What I love about this AI generator is typically it gives you ones with transparent backgrounds or white backgrounds that are super easy to re remove so that you are able to print this on products like t-shirts or sweatshirts or mugs. And for today's example, we're gonna be doing stickers. So for a print on demand example, if there is a clip art, maybe you wanted a picture of someone surfing for a surfing shirt, then you would just put in looking for a surfer. If you wanted a black and white, you can type in black and white, or you can select one of their clip art styles or vector styles to make sure that this is in black and white. The good thing about vector styles is they're actually vector based, meaning that they are scalable. You can scale them as big as you want, as little as you want, and it won't like distort it or pixelate it because it's more mathematically based. It's not pixel based. I hope that makes sense. But pretty much you can scale them up and down if it is a vector based file, which Kittle AI is able to do. Or you could do clip art styles. And because I said I actually wanna do some stickers today, I wanna make an AI Etsy sticker store. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the clip art styles and see if there's any of these that we like. You can also scroll right here. They've got vintage style, pencil drawing, cyberpunk. There's a few options, but my favorite is the kawaii icon. And if you don't like any of these, you don't have to use them. You can just type in your AI prompt without selecting a style. And then you can type in the style you want, like cartoon style, so that you can get what you are looking for without having to fit into one of these buckets. So let's make our first AI generated sticker. If you're like me and you've been on TikTok a lot lately, you've probably seen capybaras everywhere. Let me know if I'm the only one whose whole TikTok feed right now is that Capybara song. It's been stuck in my head 24 seven. So because it's trending right now, I actually wanna make some Capybara stickers. So in the description here, I want the kawaii icon. I'm gonna hit that. 
I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm going to type in a cute capybara, capybara with a heart above his head. And let's see what that spits out. So this is actually what it spit out. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love this and think this would look so good on a sticker or you can use it in any mug designs, perhaps. Maybe t-shirts or sweatshirts, but I'm leaning more towards stickers or mugs for a design like this. And it has solved all the issues that I had with previous AI generators where they have too complicated backgrounds where the ears are cut off so that I could never actually use it. This has just been a great output that I can use right away. And it actually does have a white background, but right into Kill, they built in this AI background remover. So just click on that. And now you're gonna have a PNG image without a background that you can use. And before we move on with that design, I just wanted to show you some of the other ones that I quickly created with this Kittle AI generator to show you just what type of quality you can expect when creating stickers or different icons with this program. So this one in the top corner up here, I told it to make me an avocado that is scuba diving. I think that's hilarious. I had no clue what was gonna come up for that one. This one is another just cute capybara. Here I put in a corgi, another one with a heart above his head. I just did a cute smiling avocado. I did a vintage phone sticker. So I don't really like putting sticker in. I was just testing that one, but it gave me something that looked like a sticker, but I'm not going to use that. And then here is another cute capybara one that I created with another heart above of his head. So if you use it once and you don't like the result, just hit again and you're going to get a totally different result, a different style. So you can just keep playing until you get one that you like. And another quick tip, if you did want to use these again, moving forward, you're going to actually find them in your uploads every time after you generate them. So you can just scroll through it and find some of your past AI if you want to continue using it. But let's move on for now. Let's create our sticker out of our first really cute capybara. So what we want to do first is we need to make sure we are saving this. So I'm going to hit this download button up in the corner here. I'm going to make sure that this toggle is turned on, the remove background. Turn this on, make sure all our settings are again 300 DPI with a decently large canvas size. And we're going to save this as a PNG file. All right, so now let's get our new design on an actual sticker and get people ready to buy it so that it'll print automatically. So what you're gonna do is on Printify, you're gonna go to Catalog, we're going to navigate over to Magnets and Stickers, and the one that I like to use, and it's because it's probably the cheapest, right here is the Kiss Cut Vinyl Decals. And because you can see they're only 86 cents if you use Printify Premium, I actually do pay for Printify Premium on my actual Printify account. I keep that secret, so this is a separate account. So we're gonna click into this one and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna hit Start Designing. Then from here, we're gonna bring in our new design and we're gonna scale it as large as we can within the printable area. Right now, the sticker size is set to three by four. If you click right here, you can add in more sizes if you want to sell this in a few different variations. So you can just click these and then add him in. And then we're going to save project. Once we save, we're going to get to this page here and you're gonna see that they already created some mock-ups of how our sticker is gonna look so we can use these photos for when we're trying to sell our sticker or our print on demand product. So I'm gonna take a look at this one here. So like this one here, Looks great, it looks super realistic. You can't tell that someone didn't take this photo themselves. And they also gave us a few other ones as well. You do wanna make sure before getting to this point that you've hooked up your selling platform, press Printify. I sell on Etsy, so I hooked up my Etsy to Printify. And then once you scroll down and you can make any changes to your titles, your descriptions, your pricing, you're going to hit publish and that's going to send it to your selling platform. But Let's say that you maybe you did not like the mock-ups or you wanted to create some of your, your own. My favorite way to do that is this is actually bringing it back into a different platform, which is Canva. And why Canva? Because Canva makes it super easy. Well, not super easy, but I know the trick into adding a border to make this look like the actual sticker. So first let's get a background image. I'm gonna say I want this on a laptop. I'm going to go to photos and then I'm gonna bring in a photo, maybe like, this one. I'm going to make this much bigger and I'm going to send it to the back. You can just hit right click and I'm going to hit a arrange. Here we go. Sorry. Send it back. Now we have our little capybara on top. I'm going to scale it 
move it over here. But the problem is it doesn't have that white background like this is actually gonna have when it is printed. So how you can add that is just by going to edit image. We're gonna hit shadows. I'm gonna hit glow. Then I'm going to hit these little settings bars. And once that loads, I'm gonna set transparency to 100, blur to zero. I'm gonna change the color to white. And then I'm going to adjust the size to match our sticker mock-ups that we had seen in Printify. And that looks extremely close. And now we can save this and also use this as a mock-up. But I wanted to show you one other style as well. I actually bought this mock-up on Etsy. You can just look up sticker mock-ups and you can find tons of them like this that actually have a hand. And the secret is, the thumb is actually not attached. When you download these files, they're gonna give you two files, a thumb and a hand. We can do the same trick with our Capybara, and we're gonna make sure the thumb is positioned to the top. To do the positioning, again, you just hit right click, arrange, and you can bring to front or send it back. And you're just gonna be really careful about resizing this and making it look like it is attached to the thumb. And there we go. Another super realistic mock-up. This is probably my favorite way to do my sticker mock-ups. And then you can save these files and upload them to your Etsy photos. All right, so now you've created your mock-ups, you've posted on Etsy. What's gonna happen is if someone purchases your sticker, Printify is automatically going to print and ship it directly to that customer. So you actually never have to touch your sticker. You never have to do anything really except for collect the profit. Just make sure you are actually setting the prices higher than Printify is charging so you actually make a profit. And ta-da, now you have to do nothing. You just have to make the sticker once and this is passive income moving forward. All right, guys, thank you so much. I really hope today's video was helpful. If it was, I do ask if you could please leave a like and subscribe. It would help my store so much. And I'm curious to know if you're gonna be using AI on any of your projects in the future and what your thoughts are on AI just as a whole. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week.